Okay, here we are at the entrance to the open house. So here it is. There is some construction going on to my left. And then to answer your question, you can hear some road noise, but it's not terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in the house now. And you can go in right through the garage and take the elevator up, or you can just come up these front stairs. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on in. So, this is the front entrance. And I actually really like downstairs because you actually get two kitchens with this place. So, it does have a security system. Here's a place where you can store, you know, your beach stuff, all your goodies, maybe your kayak. This house does come with all the bicycles and a kayak. So you have all that stuff. And see, right here is your elevator. So just came in, elevator. This guy has his kayak here, but this is a really deep space. So Barb, your question, you can put two vehicles. Move those bikes. I think I would mount the bikes. Um, this here goes right out to the outside. This is the outdoor area here. And these are all brand new. I want to show you. Just replaced these two in the last year and this one the year before. All just replaced. Okay. This is heated and cooled, whether or not this is included in 3,000 square feet, I just have to check with the owner apparently because she's not sure. So this is the pool area and they're basically just using it as a chill spot, workout spot. And here's the kitchen. It's really neat to have two kitchens and everything is in pretty good shape. Kind of just put their stuff in here. Pantry. Just random stuff. Um, here's an ice maker. Ice maker. There you go. Okay, let's go out to the pool. Um, what's really neat is you have these two French doors, or this French doors here that open up. <clears throat> and then you have the restroom, but you can also access um, the pool through here. Oh, you get the point. So, oh, and yes, that is a Murphy bed. So if you wanted to expand your sleeping, you could. Um, you don't have to. I was just in here earlier taking a look at it. There you go. That looks like something that could easily be removed if that's something that you, you wanted to do. I think it's kind of neat to have. Um, there's a step down here. And here is the little pool area and the grill. We could keep or remove all of that. Two balconies here. The balconies are really wide and deep. Okay, so you asked about the walkover beach. That's literally right out this back door. So you have this green space back here, and this is where we'll be able to tell if we can hear some of the road noise. I guess if you just look right there. That's the road. That house right there just went for a million, 1.1, I believe. And there is a building set to come up right here, a home that will uh, block that view for those folks. But this is your beach walkover. So, and 
just to kind of give you that's the house and that side they're doing some cleanup on that I don't know if those are full-time residents or not but she's checking with the owners okay let's go in here I don't fall and again that's the entrance to the restroom so if you need to use it get out of the pool go right there there's a little shower area just get a good view of this here hangout room this thing's like a hangout room and it is heated and cooled so I immediately when I walked in I felt the AC on feels good it's hot out today Okay, so garage. All right, that's the storage. Let's just go on up. This is all real hardwood. No laminate. So we're on the second floor and this is the first bedroom. They all have balconies. Um, this is the type of flooring. Looks like it's in good shape here. I did notice some other spot in the master on the third floor that wasn't exactly perfect. Okay, now here we are on the balcony space. All these balconies are with the stone tiles. So I think natural stone be a bit better. You get some peekaboo views of the golf from here, uh, way down through there. And this is all sort of gated, so towards the front of the home, it kind of feels like a neighborhood, more so than a just driving up right off the road, you know? Okay, so these rooms, high ceilings, very big. You could put kings in every room that I've seen except for the bunk room. So the only dated piece really I think would be the tiles. That's an easy fix. This is considered one of the masters and it does have a walk-in. There are two walk-ins in here. So jetted tub, stand-up shower. Okay. And here's your elevator. This is the AC closet. I'll just go ahead and open it up because I'll show you how clean everything is. And these folks never rented this home, so this has been primary for them, or secondary, excuse me. Apparently they live in Nashville. So linen closet, and then this is the washer and dryer, and then there's an additional linen closet. But this is super cute. Got this little desk area here. There's some storage underneath. And there's an additional little storage, blanket storage area, and another little cute storage spot. I thought that was sweet. Oh, and I guess you can put a little, little baby TV there if you really wanted to mount one. Okay laundry. All appliances come with it. Kitchen has amazing appliances on the third floor. Second kitchen. Okay. Just a, this is the one for the little bunk room. Okay. And this room is huge. They have this looks like a queen but that should be a king. I mean there's tons of room for whatever furniture pieces and additional storage pieces if you want to bring in a dresser ample room absolutely so here's the secondary walk-in closet and that right there I didn't I didn't know what that was all about that was just needs to be ripped off um, owners here would entertain providing a um, with an appropriate offer would entertain providing a painting allowance for you to have the interior repainted. 
So I want to go ahead and show you while we're on the second level. This house has four bedrooms and oof, I can never get these open. Four bedrooms and a bunk room. So it's like five. It's like the house we were looking at before, only less and in a more desirable area, except for not directly across the street from the beach, just down the road. So here's the view, the pool, there's the neighbors. Again, this birds are going nuts. And that would be where you walk over and that's public access. We have our new rules where public access would be where you'd be able to put your umbrellas up and there's one there and then there's one down that road right there. So you have two at your disposal. I do like how they have big balcony space and the wood and everything looks clean, nicely painted, updated. Okay, go back in here. I'm sorry for rambling on. <clears throat> I'll try to be speedy. All right, here we go. Another thing that I thought was kind of cool is all this natural wood. You've got that really neat look right there. You could, in theory, paint all that white and make it pop and hang a gorgeous chandelier there. That was just my thought to bring sort of what I know Barb really fancied um, as far as decor goes. Okay, let's go ahead and go in here. Additional bedroom and then that cool wooden look right here to kind of echo that there. So, okay. Excuse me for being so speedy. I want to make this video shorter than 30 minutes. So right off the bat, what I noticed is I got peak view golf views here. And it does have that kind of a flow to it. All the houses around it kind of look the same. You know, they're all in really good shape. All relatively new. Um, parking. You can fit two in the garage tightly one right there and another two there um, I'm kind of over if I were to move my car over a little bit I think you could get five total uh, parked so and again really wide balconies covered and and then open so, that closet Additional closet. Pretty tall. Kind of put all your stuff. And stand up shower, dual vanity. Hi. <laughs> An additional storage. I like how there's gas in here. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like gas in the area. Exactly. 